Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. I've been using MX Linux 19 on this Dell laptop for going on a month. I've been very impressed with it, so stay tuned because coming up is a full video review on what makes MX Linux 19 a good choice, something you should consider, especially for a mobile device. So I'm sure many of you watching this video are saying, hey Rob, why are you doing a video now on MX Linux 19? It's been out for a while, I think maybe going on two months or so. Well, I've been running this for about a month on my laptop and I really wanted to use it as I travel for work and those kinds of things and, and just real world use before I did a video review. Um, one of the things that stands out is just how fast and stable I mean, there have been zero hiccups with this. This is running on a Dell with an Intel Core i5 with 8 gigs of RAM. So it's not a slouch, but it just runs so well on this laptop. And again, it's been flawless. And a large part of that is because, number one, it's built off of Debian as a base, Debian 10, uh, the stable branch. And then you've got the XFCE desktop, the latest version 4.14. Um, and this just makes for a nice light snappy um, OS and the other thing that's been nice although I haven't used every tool set and that is the MX tools which we'll get into but before we do I'm going to drag this down and I purposely left this whisker menu set up the way it is in the panel the way it is because I wanted you to see how unique this particular setup of XFCE is typically you're going to find the panel on the bottom with most distros here they chose to go with it on the left with the whisker menu set up here with the main categories on the right. And this is kind of opposite of what I'm used to. However, I left it there and I've got to say it's kind of grown on me. The theming is pleasant. It's not over the top, out of sight, beautiful or anything like that. Uh, but it is nice. It's bright and colorful with the icon pack that they've chosen. And then the rest of it, you can tweak and change. XFCE is something that you can adjust uh, theming wise and uh, they make it kind of easy within MX as well so you can change all these looks they've done a nice job with the applets in the panel and making sure everything that is on the left still shows up for example your clock still shows up there as well now once you get past the different look you'll notice a few other things you've got conky in place here with a lot of conkies to choose from um, it's it's kind of a nice widget to have it can give your desktop a unique look um, but the main thing for me the one of the standout features with MX Linux and this would be really good for someone that's new or someone who just wants to quickly set up their uh, OS uh, and that's MX tools so we're gonna go ahead and stretch this all the way up and I'm not gonna open or launch every tool here because there are a lot and we this would be a really long video but I do want to pop through and just give you an idea of what all is in place and why this is just something that I mean this is like a multi-use tool if you will it almost with all the tools in place it makes XFCE feel like it's got as many options as KDE Plasma if you will let's start back up here format USB well bash config ch root rescue scan uh, package manager here search for and install Debian based packages uh, and there's a couple options here for installing your software uh, USB formatter iDevice mounter you don't see that um, on a lot of distros pre-installed so that's for it's a GUI uh, it's a GUI for mounting and unmounting your iPhones and iPads the live USB kernel updater boot options boot repair cleanup codex installer Here's your conky, change details of your desktop system monitor, what we see here on the right. Uh, date and time settings. A fix for your GPG keys. Here is the MX Live USB Maker. I think you can boot in a persistent mode and be running in a live environment without installing and then install whatever package you normally use, set up, tweak, and theme your system. And then if, you, if you've done that within persistent mode uh, when you go to install it everything that you've added or changed or uninstalled stays with it I believe is the way that works I didn't try it that way but that is my understanding uh, you've got a menu editor here network assistant the package installer uh, let's go ahead and launch into that this is their own I do believe 
And so you've got a tab here with popular applications. So this, these are various applications that they deem are popular. And they've set these up in categories, making it easier to find. So if you go here, you could install different file managers. Under email, you've got Claws and Thunderbird. So not a, not a ton, but various docs, so on and so forth. Then you have the stable repo. And so that's going to refresh. And then so from here, you could start searching for, you know, let's say Caden Live, for example. And you'll see that pop right up there. MX Test Repo. They're going to give you a warning there. Uh, Debian backports and flat packs. So you've got that built in. So that's going to that's going to fill in there. And let's just go on over here to flat packs. And they're going to warn you here that this is a repository of flat packs for users' convenience only. And MX is not responsible for the functionality of the individual flat packs. And so just kind of a warning there. Make sure you know where your flat packs come from. Uh, flat Hub is a good source. See here if that's going to pull up. Yep, there we go. So here's your Kden Live, and if we close that out, you'll see a long list from FlatHub there. So that is certainly convenient. So we'll go ahead and close that out and jump back in over to the Tools section, and let's move on down here. Live persistent and remastering tools. Leave there if you've gone in and tweaked a lot of things, maybe uninstalled packages, added your own, and put your own twist onto this you could create your own, essentially your own live USB and share it with a friend. Uh, MX Snapshot, let me, let me, I'm skipping around here. MX Repo Manager, uh, Select Sound Snapshot, so you can create a live ISO snapshot of your running system. System Sounds, Configuration Tool for the tools of MX Linux, MX Tweak, User Manager, welcome. The NVIDIA Driver Installer, that's handy. Quick System Info, System Keyboard, and System Locales. So all of that makes up really a nice package for anyone. If you're new and you know, you've know you got an iPhone, well, here you go. Just a lot of thoughtful tools, a lot of thoughtful features have gone into this. I want to talk about the actual day in day out use. It has been flawless. Um, not a hiccup, nothing, nothing to complain about here. It's been snappy. We talked about that, the speed of XFCE. It's just, it feels like an operating system that you could install and run for the next year, two years, three years, whatever, get your updates along the way and really never have to change. It just, it feels like one of those operating systems. Um, it's got a big following that's growing. Uh, we'll go back over here and just talk about some of the other software packages that are in place. So if you go over to games, you'll see a few games. Breakout, Mahjong, Peggy, and Swell Foop. Under graphics, you're going to see GIMP. Uh, a GUI uh, scan to PDF tool, LibreOffice draw. LibreOffice, of course, was installed under Office. Uh, no Max for Image Viewer, and then Simple Scan. Under Multimedia, you had Alsa Mixer, Asunder CD Ripper, Clementine, Pulse Audio, and VLC was installed as well. Uh, Office, again, we talked about LibreOffice, but also you had. A few other calendar, PDF arranger. No, I installed that. That was not installed by default, I don't believe. Uh, then if we go into settings here, and I'm going to scroll down, you'll see here some of the MX tools within settings. But here it's all categorized uh, if you wanted to go through and just scroll. But you're going to find some of that mixed in depending on uh, settings and system where you are there. So at first glance, it looks like a lot. Oh, yeah, wanted to mention this too. You also have Synaptic Package Manager. So you have multiple ways of accessing and installing your software. Um, under Internet, you had Firefox, the GNOME dial-up tool, HexChat, Thunderbird, and Transmission all set up and ready for you. One of the other things that you'll find about MX Linux and basically the community around MX Linux is it's very helpful and I want to pop over here to um, Dolphin Oracle 
So if you go here to the MX Linux blog, and I'll put a link here, and I'm sure if you're interested in this, you'll, you, you know exactly where to find all this info. Um, actually, that is not the page. Dolphin does a tremendous amount of informative videos and things like that. You'll find him on YouTube, and I'll put a link. I'll put a link to Dolphin's channel on here um, because he is very active, and you'll just find that, I think, with, with the whole MX Linux team, the forums, um, and everything, that you'll find friendly people who are wanting to help. And uh, so we'll put some links here in this video. If, if you're looking for something light, light on system resources, uh, this would certainly be a good option. In uh, using this on my laptop, it's just been fantastic. So maybe you've got a laptop laying around that you, uh, maybe it's a little outdated. This could breathe some new life into it, especially if you've got an old Windows laptop and you've had some uh, updates or maybe Windows updates have broken things. This would actually be something that I would highly recommend uh, just from a speed. It would really breathe new life into your hardware. Uh, and so for the sake of being redundant, we'll go ahead and close her out for now. Thanks for watching.